All right, just doing a quick demonstration of the VW-4PH, the wireless presentation system. Um, right now, you can see the splash screen, which shows all the information that's needed to log into the system and to display and mirror correctly. Uh, what I did, I already installed the program, so we're ahead of that point now. Let me just open the WPS here, which stands for Wireless Presentation System. Of course, it's Windows, so it'll ask for user account control, of course. I'm just going to hit yes. Let's give it a second here. Okay, first thing that shows up is the Quick Connect screen. You have your IP address, which is the address of the VW4PH. Uh, your name, you could use any username you'd like. Uh, and a login code which is by default randomly generated so you go and look at the screen and as you can see it's 5500 so let's put that in hit enter to go ahead and connect and since I have the HDMI settings set to 720p um, it's going to change my screen on my computer to 720p also so I'll just go ahead and hit OK and what it does, it'll automatically start up and go ahead and mirror. Let me, it, it does everything that I uh, go ahead and click on. So if I go ahead and play a video from YouTube, it'll go ahead and play also. And I can maximize it. So everything that you see on your computer, you'll be able to see on the screen. Alright, um, I also wanted to show you the four uh, person split screen. Once I open a WPS program again, you can just, as you can see, there's numbers here one, two, three, four, and it's corresponding to the actual corner of the screen. If I hit one, when you look at the TV, you'll see how it's in the upper left hand corner. So let's say you have multiple users. If there's multiple people on there, they could also um, pick which corner of the screen they would like to display their desktop. All right, let's go back to play. Uh, wanted to also show you right here uh, is this menu. If you click on that, you have options like show login code, send audio to display, the web admin, which is be able to control all the settings for the unit and others. Um, let's see what else we could do here. Let me show you the conference control system. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And I am going to go to the IP address that's actually listed on the screen. It's 8.1.106. <clears throat> Once I go there, you'll see download, which is to actually download the WPS software on your computer. And you'll also see conference control. Um, admin is to change all the settings. Uh, once you click on that, it'll ask you for the password. So, of course, only the admin's going to know that. So, let's go to conference control. All right, so it's asking for the password. The default password should be trainer. Hit enter for login. And as you can see, when someone's logged into this conference control, they'll be able to see a list of everybody's names that's connected to the system and has the uh, WPS program open. Um, so this person, which is me, is actually on. So if I hit full screen, their screen will automatically show onto the TV or display. And you could also pick one, two, three, four for all those corresponding corners. So only when you're in the conference control mode, one the, the teacher or trainer will be able to control everybody and see what's going on or to show your PowerPoints or your graphs or anything that's needed to be shown to multiple people. Uh, when I hit stop, it'll go ahead and go back to the main flash screen. Um, one thing is you also have to make sure to log out of the system. If you don't log out, then um, people will still be able to use their WPS program. 
uh, or they won't be able to use it to do show on the screen. So you do have to log out. And uh, that's about it. Omelette.